Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw polygons and polylines. So let's create a new project. Let's name this Polygons. Hit Create. Now let's create a new package. New package. And let's name this com.company. Hit Enter. Now inside our package, we need to create two Java classes. So let's create our first class. Let's name this main. And let's create one more Java class. And panel. Now inside our main class, let's create our main method. So public static void main string args. Now inside our main method, we need to create a new J frame. So J frame frame equals new J frame. Now inside our parentheses, let's put in our title. So let's name this polygons. Okay. Now let's set the size of our frame. So frame dot set size. Let's do four hundred. Uh, 400. Now let's set the location of our frame. So frame dot set location. Let's set this to zero and zero. Okay. Now let's set our closing operation. So frame dot set default close operation. Now let's do J frame dot Exit on close. Okay, now let's set our content pane. So frame dot set content pane. Let's do new panel because that is the name of our other class. Okay, now let's set the visibility of our frame to true. So frame dot set visible to true. Now let's add in one more import before we go on to the panel class. Let's do import java.awt.star. Okay, now let's move on to our panel class. Now inside our panel class, we need to extend it by jpanel. So we can put things on the panel. Now let's add in our second import. So import java.awt.star Okay, now let's create our paint component graphics. So public void paint component and inside our parentheses let's put in graphics G. Okay. Now I'm going to create three shapes. Two of them are going to be polygons and one's going to be a polyline. So let's start off with a polygon. So we need to create an array for x points and y points. So let's create our first array. So int x point and so let's do equal to side here let's put in 50, 150, and 250. Okay, now I need to do the same thing for our y points. So int y points equals, and let's put in 250, 300, and 250. Okay, now let's draw our polygon. So g dot draw polygon. Now inside here we need to put in x points, comma, y points. And then we need to put in our points. So inside each of our array we have three numbers. So in here we need to put in three. Okay. 
Now let's create our second polygon. So let's do int x points with two x's. This so is equal to 50, 150, and 250. Okay, now let's create our y points. So int y points with two y's. Now let's set this to 150, 200, and 150. Now let's create a polygon. So g dot fill polygon. So it'll fill it in and will not outline it like how we did with the first polygon we did draw. Now inside here we need to put in x points, comma, y points, and then three. Okay. Finally, let's create our polyline. line. Now what a polyline line is, is that it's a polygon but it doesn't create the last line so you have three points connected by two lines so let's create a array int x point equals to 50 150 250 okay now let's create a y point, so int y point. Put so this equal to 300, 350, and 300. Okay, finally, let's draw our polyline. So g dot draw polyline. Let's do x points, comma y points, and then and here let's put in three. Okay, now let's run our project. Let's go into our main class and hit the run button over here. As you can see, we have our filled in polygon. A, right, a drawed polygon with just the outline and our polyline. So as you can see, the third line does not go to the first. So it doesn't connect. Thank you for watching.